Welcome to Samstar Games, the place to find new strategy games. And today I bring to you a very, very special game. We're gonna play Panzer Corps 2. And some of you might say, but doesn't the game come out on the 19th of March? Yes, it does, but because it's Slytherin and they're super awesome, they gave me the key head. So big thank you to them for that. And you know, in Unity of Command 2, we play as the good guys, you know, we liberate France and other places in World War II. But now, now it's time to be the bad guys. We're gonna be playing as the Germany in World War II in Panzer Corps 2. So let's start a new game and let's get into it. Now there's no tutorial yet because it's a preview. So also there might be some changes by the time you play it. We're gonna play the campaign. There's also some scenarios you can pick and there's also random scenarios. So you can pick like a random map and they have multiplayer and not only multiplayer like a person against a person, there's also co-op multiplayer, which I think is quite interesting, but we're gonna be playing with the campaign. They're gonna be up to 61 missions, I believe. They're currently only 12 in the preview build, but yeah, this is gonna be an epic game, all right? So we're gonna start with the Poland campaign in 1939. The invasion of Poland is a new form of modern warfare, the lightning fast German blitzkrieg through Europe. Pick a difficulty, we'll do just like the basic medium, the colonel version. You can also pick like higher, like general, field marshal, things like that. You can also go to advanced option if you wanted to set up some more things. We're not gonna do that, we're just gonna play it the way it is, all right? Now, as a newly minted general in the German Wehrmacht, it falls upon you to spearhead the German invasion of Poland and prove your mettle in combat. Always choose your avenue of assault wisely, as future decision will dramatically impact your campaign and even the course of the war. Strategic warning. Prototype equipment rewards for the Norton. Bonus prestige for Southern. So I have played both. I find the Norton version slightly easier, so we're gonna do that first. And by first, I mean we might do multiple playthroughs of this one. I don't know, okay? But in this playthrough, we're gonna do Poland North. So let's do this thing. Now here we gotta pick our general. My name is gonna be Sam Stein. Stein means stone in German. And we can pick our look. So that's what I mean. We're gonna go, there's the one guy, here. yeah, this is like, this This looks is like an evil baby face. Like if you think about evil baby face, you imagine this guy. That's what we're gonna do. Now, you can pick your strength and weaknesses, and this is very, very interesting. You start off with one point and you can pick one strength. I'm not gonna read them all, I just wanna show you some big uh, important stuff. I'm gonna pick Panzer General, all tanks unit cost 25% less. And then if we pick a weakness, we can pick another advantage. So you can just go like this, or you can be like, no, I wanna do more stuff. For example, you could pick no over strength, Gonna get over strength to units. We're gonna pick that. Some of these weaknesses are really bad. Like, for example, poor maintenance. That's insane. Due to breakdowns, units randomly lose move points and attack actions at the beginning of each turn. Can you imagine that? That must be so hard to play with. We're not doing that. There's one thing I'm really, really thinking about taking because in Unity of Command 2, I never use any elite reinforcements, even though I should, I'm just like, never. So I really, really want to take this green army thing, but I don't know if it's like maybe horrible decision for this particular game. I don't know. We're gonna take it because I wanna show it off. There are a couple other interesting things like bad luck. Combat results can never be better than predicted. This is interesting. We're not gonna pick it, but I do feel like it could be a good idea in some cases. Some things are really bad, like poor ground control, uh, actually no, like insufficient supply or chaotic fire. Units spend two points of ammo on each attack instead of one. Slow modernization, don't know. This fear of the unknown cannot order units to move to a fog of war. I am not sure how that's going to work. Because like, does that mean that you can only tell them to move to the edge of fog of war and then they have to spend another turn to move through because every time you move closer you can kind of see a bit further i'm not quite sure if that works but it might be work well combined with this deep recon map around all primary objectives permanently revealed that seems pretty cool so we can pick two more points couple things i like deadly grasp and certain enemies suffer twice the penalties we're gonna take that because they do like encircling enemies now as for the last one there are a couple ideas i have deep recon i quite like that uh, another thing that could be interesting is battle academy you get more experience growth or master of blitzkrieg also is pretty interesting trophies of war gets twice more capture equipment twice more prestige when forcing enemy units to surrender killer teams gives you heroes i am probably going to pick this because i want to show you off what heroes are in this game because it's quite interesting and yeah but a lot of these good ones like 
advantages are really interesting and I think it might be a really interesting game to take like a lot of weaknesses and a lot of strengths but there is for example a weakness that allows like the enemy to ignore your zone of control which I think is the yeah poor ground control so that can like allow you to completely ignore one you know like part of the game which can be kind of interesting there's also a, a, a an advantage where you can sort of like use your body to ignore enemy zone of control so if you combine those two things it's like zone of control not a big deal and things like that but let's let's begin enough talking so we are a pencil general with deadly grass and killer team we cannot do overstrength and we have a green army please have a seat i'll speak with you shortly the briefing officer picks up his telephone yes i'm still here as i was saying we were well established here in jastro and the newly promoted general is now here with me the person on the other end of the line is speaking. Are you certain they're ready for frontline combat? We're just about to take the first step of full vice and cross the Polish border. The person on the other end of the line is speaking. I see, that is quite an impressive recommendation. Okay. Well, this old man remains unconvinced. My time on the battlefield may be long past, but I'll of course advise them to the best of my ability. Okay. Glory to the fatherland. <laughs> Oh, it's so bad to say that. All right, Harry General. It looks like you're officially part of our inv invasion of Poland, so I better brief you on the current situation. Now, these briefings are actually quite good. They tell you quite a lot, like what you're supposed to do. If you don't wanna hear them, just skip ahead a minute or two. But I do like them, so we're gonna read them. Our job is to capture all the victory hexes. As you can see, we're deploying your new Panzer Corps to Jastrow to combine with elements of Kluge's Fourth Army. Your immediate objective is to cut to the Dancing Corridor by advancing to the Vistula River. So we wanna move like this. Alright. Our enemy is undoubtedly planned for this maneuver to link Germany and East Prussia, but I believe you can preempt them by intercepting their forces here before they reach more defensible positions. Alright. To fully take control of the corridor though, these two major crossings on the Vistula must be occupied. If you see the opportunity crossing the Vistula here in a flanking maneuver could help you take your objectives easier. Alright. Good luck on your first combat operation, Harry General. I would hate for you to be your last. Ooh. <laughs> All right, so we get our very first hero. We got Klaus Newman, who is a fierce fighter, plus one attack for each adjacent enemy unit. That's really, really good. We'll put it on a tank, I think. So the way this works is that you attach heroes to a unit and then that gives the unit that particular bonus. Victor Beck, Entrenchment Killer 4X, destroys four points. Oh, that is amazing. An Avenger gets attack bonus for each point of lost strength. Oh, these heroes are so good. In my test game, I got heroes that were like rubbish. Like, what? Like, you do nothing, man. These heroes are like for the win. Okay, so first we start off with these, these units. As you can see, we get some infantry, some tanks, artillery, and tactical bomber. And we get 1,200 prestige and we got some core salt. So we can buy new stuff. So let's do that. So first thing we can do is we can buy a couple of grenadiers, so I'm gonna do it. Here you can see their cost, their health, um, how many slots they take away, and then how strong they are against soft attacks, which is infantry, hard attacks is tank, air attack, and stuff like that. So we're gonna take two grenadiers, I think. Then we're gonna go for a couple of tanks. I think we then, I think I'll go for the most expensive tanks. Let's, let's grab two of those. Probably gonna attach some heroes to this. Then I would like, an anti-air unit will take the cheapest one just to have some and then i would like some artillery i think it will go maybe this one you can also sort of hover over pick one unit and hover over some others to see comparisons um you will take this one and we have one more oh actually we should we should have gone for no okay so we're gonna take away the the artillery and instead we're gonna pick some some planes so we're gonna go with maybe this one two of these would be good yeah we get to we get two two planes all right so we're gonna buy this off cost us exactly 1200 prestige and exactly 15 things so we're fully done perfection now we gotta deploy these so we're gonna place them somewhere I mean it could be strategic about it but it's fine and we're gonna place the air units over here now next what we could do is we gotta pick the hero so this is by the way an enemy unit so is this it doesn't that much different in the coloring but it's it's fine we're gonna put uh which tank let's go pick, pick this tank and we're gonna put a hero here so you click here on the unit details and you're gonna attach a hero to it so we've got the fierce fighter yeah let's give him fierce fighter okay 
We're gonna, we can also multiple heroes on the same thing. Then we're gonna pick this infantry and we're gonna give to this infantry, we're gonna give the hero of... Maybe the entrenchment killer, that seems like a pretty good decision. All right. And the Avenger, maybe on another tank? What does the Avenger do again? Is that for each point of lost strength, yeah, let's do that. All right, so we've got uh, these two have a hero. You kind of got to remember it. I haven't really found a way to kind of see. You can see it here. Like you see this little golden thing that means the bonus, but you do kind of have to like, here's the Avenger thing and here's the, this entrenchment killer, but you kind of have to keep that in mind. So we've placed all of our people. We can end the deployment and we may begin. Now the way the planes were, work here is a little different because at the end of their turn, they always kind of fly back to the beginning. So we're going to start off by attacking this little, this is an anti-tank unit. So we want to destroy that so it doesn't hit our tanks. We could then move with some of our other units there. Okay, so we're going to move there with the infantry and then we're going to move there with this and we're going to hit it actually. So this is blue. This means that it's going to hit, uh, suppress their unit. So there is suppression here, which is kind of similar, like in the unity of command, if you lose a step, essentially if health, they have eight health and four units are suppressed, which means four of their air units will not fight back if we hit them. So we're going to hit them now. They don't do any, well, actually they did one damage to us, but the prediction was, actually, actually <laughs> prediction was zero too, but didn't end that well, but that's all right. Now we're going to start fighting these guys. So what you want to do is you want to do something called encircling an enemy, which essentially means that you surround them and they cannot get reinforcements. Now also, if you have multiple enemy, enemy multiple units next to an enemy unit, you get a, a mass attack, so you can attack them multiply. Also, these guys get plus one attack for any adjacent unit. So ideally, we could, actually we could just place these guys like next to them, even if they're not fighting, because they should, we should get a bonus there because of this unit. So we're gonna start off with these guys. See how much damage we can do. We did six damage and two suppression, very nice. Then these guys can hit them without a fear of getting hit back. And then you, oh, they ran away, but then this guy can finish them off. Very good. So we killed them off. Very, very nice. Now, by the way, this red thing means they have an action available and the green things means they have movement available. Now, unfortunately, we cannot hit these guys. So we're just going to move with this plane forward just to kind of see what enemies we've got where. Okay, so we see no enemies still. So then this, you move down to, let's say, there. We see the enemies here. All right, all right, that's fine. Now we're gonna have to start moving towards this this tank down here and fight it off. We could get a two, three. So we're gonna move this maybe to here. Like one, two is not the best odds, but it's doable. We can't get close enough, unfortunately, neither can you. This is an anti-air, right? Anti-aircraft, yeah. So when we see enemy airplanes, we can go there. Now two, three, one, two. We'll do the one, two. I don't think we'll do the two, three. But we'll we'll see. I I, I don't think. No, we're not gonna do it. It's fine. Yeah, we're not gonna do it. Okay. So let's move towards the. Let's end the turn. We have moved with everybody we could. So that's it. Okay, we've got our first enemy airplane. And that's good because oh, it actually well they're not that close. We have this is here. But we could move it to there and then attack the enemy. Now these guys are trying to sort of attack my infantry, which they did. They hit me for three. I hit them for two, so it actually wasn't half bad. And then we've got these. I feel so bad for these horses. Like, we're fighting against the tank, guys. Okay, so we're gonna move. This is the guy who gets the bonus. So you move up there. This guy's going to move in the middle because he gets that bonus. You could move. You just move towards the objective. We can't quite get there, but we can at least get close. And we're gonna start by hitting with this guy, with the hero. And then you get one four, you get minus one five. Let's do that. And then you can move ahead and hit them without any attack. So we kill them off, and then we're gonna move here to get the objective. This is gonna give us additional prestige, as you can see up here. All right, next. We need to move you close enough so we can hit the enemy airplane. We can only suppress one of their steps, so it's not like too great, but it's something. Next, we should try to destroy... Yeah, let's try to destroy this, this enemy unit. See if we can do some nice damage. 
Nice. If you move these guys that way, doesn't quite. Um, yeah, and let's move down here. Now at this one they're encircled and we can attack them quite nicely. Minus one, minus two. I don't know. It's not the best. Uh, let's take the the airplanes and we can attack them at some place. Oh, we could also hit those guys. Now let's hit this for three. That seems like a really good idea. And then we can do zero two attacks, which are always good, and finish them off over here. And then we can move into the objective and get more prestige, which is very, very nice. Now this tank could finish off their anti-tank thingy thingy, so we'll do that. We just move towards down here, I guess. Now, you can't... The problem is that all of these guys are unable to move. We do have this... What is this again? This is the artillery. Mm, not close enough to have anybody. Now we can move them into... Oh, actually, yeah, we can. We can go here. We can hit them up. Good. And we have our plane, which we're going to use to attack these people up there. We could have killed this, but I don't think it's necessary. It's it's a one thing. It's not very strong. Also, we've got another plane, which we could hit those guys. Oh, actually, let's hit this thing over here. This is an anti-tank thing. So we want to make sure it doesn't hit my tank too hard. You can also click here on the next unit. So you can kind of see what other units you haven't used yet. So we have used them all, but if we haven't, we might want to look at that. Now we do want to take control of this aircraft, because if we do, it will help us so that we can move our planes there and we can do better attacks. Ooh, so actually we ambushed them. That was really nice. So they moved in, they didn't see us, so we got an ambush and we did eight damage to them. So we can essentially insta-kill them now without any stress whatsoever. Like with these guys, for example. Bye bye now let's move ahead through upwards. What we've got over here? We've got some people down here. We're gonna keep moving in that direction. I don't think we can do any attacks just yet, so let's just keep moving. Now we do have this enemy airplane, so we want to make sure that we kind of start hitting it. So let's move closer and hit it up. So we don't want it to destroy my tanks. All right, somebody needs to kill this little thing over here. You can't move towards enemies anyway, towards big gosh. So we're just gonna... Actually, we can move them, move there now, all right. Never mind. Yeah, this would be a bad decision, so let's... And the question is, do we want to use our, our planes to attack this and then possibly move there with our tanks to finish them off? Or do we use our tanks to attack this thing? So this tank, this plane actually cannot attack this airplane. Anyway, some airplanes can and some cannot. It's a bit strange. 1-1. One, one. It's possible that with the encirclement we could do a bit more. We could get better odds. No, it's still just a 1-1. One, one. All right. Now, my artillery, I'm going to move it here so that next time we'll be able to hit them. Move closer you as well. Now, we're going to need to keep hitting this plane. Now, we can do 2-3 with this of our bomber and 2-3 with this one. I think we'll do it just to be sure. They are, they're only suppressing us. While we are hitting them, so that should be okay. Yeah, and then the other airplane, what could you do? One, three, yeah, let's do that. I wanna start sort of hitting the airplanes, because the airplanes, they can do a lot of damage. Nowhere we can move around there, so I think we are fine on this one. The one ones, wait, are, is one of you, one of your things, the one with the, no, the one that get, gets extra attack if it gets hurt? No, so I don't think. Yeah, I'll go on, let's do it. Just because it's strong and it could hit our tanks while it's sort of on its own turn, so we just want to make sure that that doesn't happen. So we'll just take the hit. Ooh, we're gonna have to re reinforce this plank, this tank soon. Okay, that, that was a pretty good hit on our side. Better than theirs, for sure. Ooh, they're hitting my infantry, hitting me for four there. That was pretty rough. See how this goes. Seven damage, that was amazing. They only did two, that was, that was fantastic. Now you could probably four, two, four, two, one, five. Oh, this is the guy who should be in the middle, but we can't quite get it in the middle. 
You need to move next to him. It's gonna give you some nice bonus. You just you just hit this guy because you can't get around there anyways. Then we could probably finish them off here, so we'll try. Yeah, they're dead. I do wonder if we try to move with this guy out. Or we could try to move around to get sort of like a better... Or we can just get a replacement. Like, I, I don't know if this is going to have movement enough to move inside. That's what I'm worried about. Like, if I, if I bother to move this guy away, am I going to have the movement to get in there? And I'm not... I don't think so, because these guys only have two movements. So instead, we're going to replace you, and we're going to move with you in. We're going to do the 0-4 over here. So we can weaken those guys there. Good. Next. We have my anti... This is my anti-aircraft. Yes, so you move in. You can't hit them for any good damage. That's a bit sad. But you could. You can insta-kill them, actually. Move in. Now we're going to move this tank to here to get this aircraft. It's going to be quite helpful for us. And then you could attack, you can attack this. You? You can. Okay, two suppression on this tank. Two, two is not great. One, two is better. If we move at it from behind, we can encircle it and get what kind of a odds? One, two, two, two still. Oh, but we can get zero, two here. So let's move there, hit it up. One, two, two, two still. But we've got airplanes. Yeah, you go and hit this. And then we should be able to get zero one. Yeah, let's do a zero one and another one. And another zero one to finish them off. And then you, you get to move to here. We get one suppression on ourselves, but we can do some nice damage. Alternatively, I'm thinking about attacking these guys because this, this plane is not that strong anymore. So I think let's go up here and make sure that our tanks don't get hurt too much. The tank is kind of like, like our lifeblood in this, so we want to make sure that we don't mess them around. Oh, you can move. Let's move then. Anybody else? You... You are artillery, but you can't shoot anything. Just take a step, I guess. Alright, that's it. Now this is gonna be probably a fairly long episode. I'm gonna try to finish this mission the first episode, I think. And I, I, I mean, I hope you guys will enjoy it. Because I, I, there's definitely gonna be a lot more episodes of this game because it's so good. You don't have to worry, there will also be still the guides on Unity of Command to actually have Lorraine ready already. <laughs> I kinda rhymed. So you don't have to worry that that wouldn't happen, that will still be happening. It's just, you know, we might liberate some places in Unity of Command 2 and then we take them back over here, we're like, nope. <laughs> Or the other way around, if, it, if you're looking at the years and, you know, the proper times, but yeah. Go hit these guys up. Alright, they're dead. Now we're gonna keep moving in this direction, that's what we want to do. Alright, uh, then you guys need to start moving in. Now we do want to flank them, like the tutorial said. I don't want to step in there just yet, because... They would just hit my tank quite strongly, and they, they don't want to leave the objective, so you can... Oh. I didn't realize we've got some people here, but we could do a zero to attack. So you don't want to step there because they would do like five zero attack on your thing. That would just be foolish. What is this? I keep forgetting which one is the anti-aircraft, which one is the other one. So you are the aircraft. Where is my beautiful other guy? So with these guys, it's really important move to position like this so that you can do an attack from range into this thing. We also got to remember which one of our people, oh, these guys, they have this thing that destroys entrenchment. So we want to use them to attack people in, in, in cities because they get a really, really good bonus. Also, one side note. In this game, moving to an objective doesn't make you have it, so you always have to stop on an objective. That's really, really important, otherwise you're not going to get it. So we can fly it into anything, so we're going to change their base aircraft to this, so that next time we get some really good uh, shots. Now you... You can't hit any enemy? Oh, you could, you could kill off these guys, so do it. Do it for me. I want them dead. And then... Oh, oh by the way, if you zoom out like this, you get this sort of strategic view. And you can hit you can hit these guys, but it's a zero zero. So I think instead I'm just gonna rebase your aircraft to this. 
Any other unit that hasn't done anything? You, you can move. We don't want to move like that close. Because that would, again, these guys would have really good defense against ourselves. We've got Avenge against, for each point of lost strength, so we've got two bonus. Next unit, okay, no more next unit, so we gotta go. Now, if we had some of our units dead, we would get placed in the score strength, and we could buy an additional, um, additional, additional units, because as you can see, we've got some prestige left. So, yeah, just wanted to point guys are fairly strong. You might need to go... Now, I was gonna, like, encircle those guys, but we might want to focus on these first. So let's do a position like this. You go in there, give him that bonus. One, two, two, four, one, three... One more. All right, one more. I was gonna go up there, but I think it's worth it to go like this. You have two, four... Wait, yeah, you are the one with the bonus. Is it time to go into these guys yet? I don't know. Let's try to do three suppression. You'll get a three three then. We could just focus on this first. Alright, so we're not gonna do the attack on the city just yet. So let's do a zero four on this. And we can do zero one and these guys. Oh, they're just dead. They just stand here. One two is a Bad idea for anti-tank thingy. Are you anti-tank, right? Oh, yeah. We're just gonna wait out. Okay, we're, we're gonna attack here, but first... We could go like this. To make sure that we encircle this as much as we can. They do... Oh, they have... What is this? Anti-tank. Ooh. Ooh. That was a bad placement, but it is what it is. We did it, so we're gonna we're gonna handle it. But right, those guys are just dead. Now this thing is gonna be in trouble, but it is the Avenger, so essentially if it gets hit, it's kind of fine. Let's go hit this. Oh, we could actually hit people in, in in Chelmo. But I do feel like we should try to destroy this anti tank thingy because otherwise my tank is just gonna be hurt. Definitely. You, oh, you could hit this on Titan or the people in Chelma. No, let's go at this. We have time. We are like a turn six out of fifteen, so like we don't need to go crazy. You know what? We're, we're just gonna hit it. Hit this. It's gonna give us me one suppression, but it's gonna get them down to five, which should be helpful. Also, you. What are you again? Oh, you're the anti-aircraft. Every time, like, what are you? And it's also the same every time, so it should be like fine, but you know. Yeah, these guys are just gonna stay in position for the moment. We could replace them, get a plus six strength. They're gonna lose a little bit of their experience, but I think it's worth it anyways. You... You go back upwards, because you're gonna be fighting those guys up there eventually. You move this way, maybe get a bit closer. You... but you can't hit yet or maybe we hit already yeah i think we hit already yeah this is gonna hurt my thing but only suppressed one thing oh this this thing hurt a lot this was a really bad positioning here with the tank but that's that's all right we can handle it that's fine let's just uh, get the tank replaced or something and i think it's time well, actually do you want to kill off these units first and odds to one do I have infantry that can move there? One, and we hit them for four. Yeah, let's do that. We'll get rid of these other thingies first. This is a zero two, so that's nice. And you could go for zero four. Okay, so we're gonna destroy this completely and then we're gonna go all in. Now, with this other thing, I'm gonna get ready to surround this place, even though I'm not hitting them just yet. You're gonna get ready for this. Actually, this is the unit, no. Which is the unit that has to go? You. You hit them. Get them suppressed by three. That's really good. You you don't need to be here. You're kind of in the way, so you just kind of move out. You get closer. You get a replacement. And we're going to use our aircraft to hit whatever we can. So we're going to get a one hit here. You have, you're at zero. You go there. Just like, because maybe... It could do some damage. Like, it probably won't, but it could. 
We don't have the bad luck, so we do have that chance. Okay. Now you just rebase yourself over here. And I think... Did I use that plane on those guys? I think we're done. So let's wait a turn. Uh, the tank... Yeah, we'll wait a turn. Oh, they still have this left. That was over. Okay. It didn't hit me much, though. Alright, now I think it's time for our tank attacks. I mean, do we... Okay, we'll kill this with the infantry. And now we're gonna get ready. So, you guys move over here. We're gonna flank them from the back like so. Then we're gonna move these guys in there to, to sort of encircle them. So now it's 4-6 now. Then we're gonna suppress three of their steps. So now it's 2-6. You... Move in and destroy that thing over there, which would be good. I think we're gonna go over here as well. Because we can. You move in the middle, you move around. So we get the encircle bonus. We don't get much damage yet. Oh, we've got. I didn't realize we've got a plane there. You. Hit this, or do we move there? Let's move there to help out. You, our anti-craft, are going to move in there. I think 2-6 is really good, but we're going to start with some planes first. So let's start off with 0 to attack over here. Then this is still 2-6. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, they already ran away. That was kind of easy. So then we can move in with these guys and hit them for 0-4. And we could move like this, destroy the anti-tank unit first. And we can kind of get ready to, ta to take a Gru Jad. And... Yeah, let's destroy the plane over here so we don't have to worry about that hitting me. And the last plane could go at... Yeah, let's kill off these guys, because why not? Any units that we've got, like... Got a few units left over, but like they could attack, but we don't want to attack here. Yeah, maybe we shouldn't have moved in there just yet. Are they gonna destroy the tank? They might. No, actually, only two damage. That's good. And we did hit them up quite nicely, so now we can do four one three zero five zero. Okay, so you move there, and you're gonna move in. Now, I would really like to move there with these guys. This is the anti- the artillery thing, that'd be really helpful. The rest of you should probably focus on hitting this. So you go and destroy this unit. We just kind of get ready. We're not gonna hit just yet, but we're gonna sort of place ourselves near. You go that way, you go this way, you go that way. We'll grab the planes. This is the zero, 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 zero. We'll try one of those. Okay, four, one, four, one, four, one. We could try to increase the strength on these, so that they're the strongest. Maybe we should have run away with that one. I mean, if we lose it, it's not that big of a deal. And we're probably going to wait our turn on this. Yep. Yeah. This tank is probably dead. No? It's holding on. It's like, I'm not gonna die! Oh, I'm strong. Is this the adventure tank? It's not. Yeah, we'll run with, away with it after. 414141. How is my artillery? Yeah. You can suppress three of theirs. Very good. Now it's starting to get better. 2 2, 2 2, 3 2. I think I'll start doing the 2 2 just because we want to get them down. This is 2 2 now, still 2 2. 2 3 now, so let's do that. Alright, they already ran away, so now we can move in and get 0-5. Okay, 
those guys oh, actually this tank should be able to finish them off now yep also replace him because we can all right lastly we you are the entrenchment guys yep move in i'm gonna move in over here move in with the tank this and that completely surround them where we can three five that's good but i think we could use some plane first zero 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 yeah, i guess we'll try one of those you can only place one there so not really shot yeah let's do two five zero six that's kind of epic and they just did oh and we can move in come on <laughs> oh that's unfortunate we're out of move so we actually lose one turn because we can't get in oh well we're in there now and it ends immediately as soon as you win you can we can see our kills to losses ratio so we thankfully we didn't lose any unit completely but we did lose some steps obviously you can see the heroes where we had them and points for killed loss points and etc all right so i think that's it for this episode i hope you enjoyed it and you can click on the right top to watch the next one or you can click on the right bottom to watch unity of command 2 i'll see you there bye bye